Kuma Fuji here from kendoguide.com. Uh, I just uh, want to say thank you. Uh, I have six patrons supporting me and I really, really uh, am happy that, uh, that I know now that people uh, out there actually want and uh, see my work uh, valuable. So I really, really appreciate that. And if you have extra one dollar a month, please consider to uh, support my work. Okay, uh, in this uh, video, I would like to talk about tradition. Uh, I made, uh, I tried to make some videos in the morning while driving, and they didn't turn out well. So uh, I'm. I'm trying to make another one to see if this one is better or not. Uh, and of course, it's in traffic jam, so it's more quieter, I think, quieter. Okay, um, tradition. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk about it is uh, I saw some comments on my, uh, uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, on this one particular video, it's, it's, which is called uh, "How to Train Your uh, How to Train Kindle at Home," I made this video so uh, we, my students, could uh, train at home during winter break, and I think it it was pretty good, uh, and I shared that with. Uh, uh, other people on YouTube and some people left comments saying oh that is not Kendo that's Iaido and I don't know if these people saw uh, this entire video but if uh, if they did probably they un would understand but if assuming they did so they did see the entire video and then they if, if they still thought that it was about Iaido, I thought that was pretty sad. That's because um, now people think Iaido and Kendo are completely different thing. That means Kendo is derived from samurai swordsmanship. Uh, Iaido is, uh, Iaido has forms which uh, the samurai practiced in old days, especially Koryu, the classic style. Uh, so now that gives me this idea. Now we have two streams in Kendo. One, uh, people think Kendo is completely independent from samurai swordsmanship, which is Kendo is uh, what we do with Shinai, bamboo sword. Okay, and then the other, uh, the other stream is uh, Kendo is derived from um, samurai swordsmanship. That's why we treat uh, Shinai as a real sword. Of course, there are differences between Kendo and samurai swordsmanship, but we still have to uh, remember and we still have to have this concept of Kendo, which is uh, to discipline our human characteristics through the application of the principles of katana. So this katana is very important in kendo, I think. That's why I, oh, the way I teach is to emphasize. I emphasize on uh, katana part of uh, kendo. And ken is sword in Japanese. And if I talk about de in detail, uh, uh, there's uh, more to it, but uh, to make it simple, kendo is the way of the sword, right? So, um, but nowadays it is true that people don't see it as, uh, see kendo as uh, the way of the sword. It's more like uh, they, they use shinai, I've never used a sword, so, why do we have to talk about the sword in Kendo? I understand the point of view, but the, uh, that's why I w wanted to talk about this tradition thing. Uh, Kendo has cultural and historical values in it. And of course, um, Kendo took its own story about that. Uh, my iPhone doesn't have uh, enough capacity to 
contained a lot of videos so it was cut off in the middle uh, I was talking about um, uh, tradition and cultural and historical values in Kendo. That is why also uh, we have kata in Kendo. Uh, I think uh, kata is very important. It tells us where Kendo came from. And we have wakigamae, hasso, which we don't really use in Kendo anymore, but we still have gedan as well. We don't use it anymore. Okay. But the, uh, the reason we have the, the kata is not because it's, it's a, a requirement uh, or for uh, promotion exam, uh, because, you know, historical cultural value as well as we can learn a lot from kata. So, well, this is, uh, I talked about this in the, uh, in the previous video, so I'm not going to talk about it in detail. So, yeah. Um, so if we just say kendo is just is done by shinai and nothing more, uh, then we lose many many things, uh, cultural values and historical value, values from kendo. So it becomes more shinai skill. Like uh, some people really say, kendo now modern kendo is not the way of the sword; it's the way of shinai. Uh, that's uh, some people say that uh, I don't want to see it uh, Kendo becomes like the way of Shinai uh, because uh, it is very I mean it is Kendo carries samurai swordsmanship that all the teachings not only Shinai Kendo but it carries samurai teachings and a lot of very uh, wisdom in kendo right so we have to teach those things to the next generation as well uh, if we just uh, polish up our shinai skills it, it becomes more just competitive sport so that is why i want to value uh, those this traditional value values that kendo has and also, uh, uh, because I talked about uh, Shinai skills, uh, we used to have like some, uh, you know, all, 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 all teachers used to have uh, some, you know, like classic skills, like techniques from all, uh, classic uh, Kenjutsu. I'm not saying we should, you know, we should be throwing our opponents, or uh, we should be uh, uh, foot sweepers should be allowed, or anything like that. I'm talking about this uh, techniques that we used to have in the past, uh, like gedan, for example. Gedan should be, I mean, like from gedan, you go uh, go forward and then go strike man like that. Uh, the reason why the reason we uh, we had we lose we lose a lot of um, techniques like that. That's simple because kendo became really quick and very small. Uh, when I was a kid, I was uh, the way I learned kendo is we've got to uh, lift up our arms or like even those use those. Uh, elbows and wrist and then strike men even small men strikes uh, but nowadays uh, uh, cuts strikes become smaller and smaller and of course they're faster and faster because uh, you know it, we develop those skills how how to strike faster than your opponent we constantly, you know, that was uh, that was the way we uh, invented, right? That so kendo has invented a lot of things that all all in old days they never thought about those things. So which is I don't know if it's I think it's progress, but at the same time those old skills are. Uh, not practiced anymore because they are not effective in modern fast kendo. 
I don't think it's right because uh, and we keep losing those old skills. I don't even these skills, you know, we don't learn from teachers. We watch and learn, but there are less teachers around us who can do those skills because you know there's let's say uh, pre or during war senses. Uh, they are not around anymore. So it's quite rare to see those uh, very unusual techniques or old techniques around us anymore. So that is why, and then it is, it is very, if you don't, know, if you, you don't have anyone around you who does, the, who does these skills, old skills or traditional skills, simply you can't learn it. It's hard to learn because you don't have a model. So, I think it's very important for us to preserve these traditions. And then, uh, of course, Kendo, we use Shirai to be able to uh, uh, do Kendo, we have to know how Shinai works as well. So, um, and then also we don't, we shouldn't forget about teachings from ancient samurai. So these these are kendo, right? These all everything contains traditions, new style and teachings and cultural historical values. This is kendo to me anyway. So I think um, people don't see kendo is related to Iaido anymore and I thought that was pretty sad so I just wanted to tell you that Kendo is derived from samurai swordsmanship and then the way we use uh, Shinai should be based on the way we use sword so please uh, don't forget that and the concept of Kendo by International Kendo Federation clearly says it is uh, we discipline ourselves through the application of the principles of the katana. So I hope this video helps you and I hope you enjoy uh, the video. Thank you very much. If you like the video, please uh, share it, like it and uh, uh, yeah, watch more videos. Thank you. Bye.